The mountain legged frog is critically endangered. There's only about 200 adults left in the wild. So by reintroducing them back out here, we're hoping to get a population established. And instead of just releasing them out there and leaving them without determining what happened to them, we want to monitor them and see how their growth is going, how they're surviving, where they're moving, um, just making sure they're not you know, succumbing to any diseases. I've been working with the mountain yellow-legged frog for about eight years here at the San Diego Zoo. And I got interested in conservation just growing up and playing in streams and catching frogs as a kid. When I learned that you know, a lot of these animals are endangered, I really wanted to help them and work towards conserving and saving the frogs. So we start at the bottom of the stream and hike upstream and we just, you know, visually, you know, look for any frogs and they're really hard to see. They're really cryptic and camouflage. So we usually see them hop into the water and then we'll look in the bottom of the pool and capture the frog. Nice. And then when, once we capture it, we swab it to detect any chytrid fungus, which is a disease that is affecting the species and amphibians throughout the world. And then we weigh and measure the frog and we photograph the frog. And, do, and just do a general visual check to make sure that it appears healthy. Yeah, it looks good. So all the frogs look really good. Um, we found about 25 frogs and their body condition looks good. Looks like they're, they're definitely growing and eating and surviving out here. It's been over a year since we released them and the fact that they're still here and they've survived this long is a good indication that you know, we will hopefully have a, a population established here. really hopeful from what we've seen today and I think that the frogs will make a recovery and we're putting a lot of effort into making sure that happens and in the future we're hoping to keep reintroducing frogs in different streams throughout the mountain range throughout Southern California and what we're learning from this reintroduction will really help us plan and guide our future reintroduction efforts with the mountain yellow-legged frog.